In today's video, Artificial Intelligence will conduct an analysis and provide its prediction for the UEFA Nations League match between the national teams of Spain and Italy. It will also show the differences between the actual odds for this game and the odds offered by bookmakers. My name is Illyrial, and I provide predictions on sports events using modern artificial intelligence technologies. In my previous videos, I accurately predicted Manchester City's victory in the Champions League and Sevilla's victory in the UEFA Europa League. My project is non-commercial, and there is no advertising on the channel. If you like my prediction, please support the channel by subscribing. And let's get started. Club football is on a break, and it's time for the Nations League. On June 15, the semi-final match between Spain and Italy is scheduled to take place at De Grolsch Best Stadium in Enskede. After the disappointment at the 2022 World Cup, the Spanish national team underwent a change in head coach. Luis Enrique was relieved of his duties, and Luis de la Fuente took over. The new coach of the Red Fury stated that he would not deviate much from the predecessor's strategy. At first, it seemed that the change in head coach would have a positive impact on the Spanish team. In the first match of the Euro 2024 qualifiers, they defeated Norway, convincingly, 3-0. The 33-year-old striker, Jocelyn, scored a brace, making it his first appearance for the national team. It was thought that the innovations and fearlessness of De La Fuente would inspire the team, improve competition, and add diversity. However, in the second match of the Euro 2024 qualifiers, the Red Fury suffered a lackluster defeat to Scotland, 0-2. The new head coach was primarily to blame for this. De La Fuente fielded an excessively experimental lineup, leaving wonderkid Gavi from Barcelona and several other keen national team players on the bench. As a result, the Red Fury looked clueless in attack. They had the majority of possession throughout the match, but failed to create significant chances. This problem was also present under Luis Enrique's tenure. However, the 53-year-old coach focused on youth development, while De La Fuente called up numerous veterans to the national team, including Iago Aspas. It is reported that De La Fuente may be fired just six months after his appointment. The Royal Spanish Football Federation and the players are dissatisfied with the coach and his methods. As we remember, the Italian national team failed to qualify for the 2022 World Cup in Qatar, losing surprisingly to North Macedonia, 0-1. It was a real disgrace for them, but Roberto Mancini was not dismissed from his position as head coach. The coach who led them to victory in Euro 2020 was given more time and it seems that it was not in vain. Mancini has incorporated a number of talented young players into the national team. The changes have had a positive impact, especially on the attacking aspect of the Azuri. Their attack has become faster and more versatile, which has also improved their counter-attacking game. In the six matches of the group stage of the Nations League, the Italian national team only lost to Germany, 2-5. They also drew with Germany, 1-1, and England, 0-0. They defeated England, 1-0, and Hungary, 2-1 and 2-0. In the first two matches of the Euro 2024 qualifiers, they lost to England, 1-2, and won against Malta, 2-0. Of course, Italy still has room for improvement in many aspects. At times, they lack experience, but they have a promising future ahead. Their technical skills are in order. Italy has a very promising youth team, as demonstrated recently in the U20 World Cup 2023. Midfielder Cesar Cassade from Chelsea was named the tournament's best player, scoring seven goals in seven matches. Thanks to Cassade's efforts, the Italian U20 national team reached the final of the U20 World Cup 2023, but unfortunately lost to Uruguay, 0-1. The only downside is the lack of a quality center forward for Italy. Coach Mancini has mentioned that among the top seven Italian teams, only Lazio has a top-class forward, and even he is already getting older. The coach is so desperate that he wants to convince French forward Ryan Cherky from Lyon to play for the Italian national team. Either way, everything points to Roberto Mancini replacing Luis de la Fuente. Under his guidance, the Azuri set a record for the number of matches without defeat 37. 
By the way, the streak was ended precisely in the match against Spain, 1-2, in the Nations League semi-finals. The outcome of the match was influenced by the unfortunate expulsion of Italian captain Leonardo Bonucci. Since then, the situation has not been in favor of the Red Fury. Even if De La Fuente changes his methods, it's not guaranteed that he will be able to regain the trust of the leading players. Everything indicates that Mancini will take revenge. The Spanish national team is going through a tough time. The motivation of De La Fuente's dismissal will certainly have an impact, but in which direction? The Red Fury has problems in their attacking plan. Often, they struggle to break through the opponent's defense and aimlessly pass the ball around the field, as seen in the game against Scotland. But my prediction for this match is a victory for Spain with a score of 1-0. Here's why I draw this conclusion. The Italian team has problems in attack, especially with the absence of an experienced central striker. This may limit their ability to score. The Spanish team recently changed their head coach, and Luis de la Fuente has faced dissatisfaction from both the Football Federation and the players. This may create additional pressure on the team and the coach, and they will only settle for a victory. In addition to the attacking problems of the Italian team, they lack experience. This may mean that they will struggle to create numerous goal-scoring opportunities. Therefore, the score I predicted earlier is the most likely outcome. If you want to hear a prediction for a specific match, please write the teams, the date of the match, and the championship in the comments below the video. I will make sure to provide a prediction to all my subscribers, and for the most popular matches, I will create a separate video review. Thank you for your attention.